Hey, weirdos. So picture this. You are in emotional turmoil. You're having some sort of issue in your life and you decide you need professional help. And you go to a counselor or a psychiatrist and you are putting your trust in that person to help you to recover from whatever it is you are going through or whatever life changes or whatever uh, mental issues are causing you problems. Well, what if that person who has so much influence over you decides to take advantage of it and ends up making your life a living hell? Well, that's what The Shrink Next Door is all about. It's actually moving from a podcast to a television screen soon, but you can listen to all of the podcast episodes right now and hear why actors Will Ferrell and Paul Rudd signed on to play the real people in this unreal true story. Now, if, if it's Will Ferrell and Paul Rudd, you know it's going to be a funny story as well. Funny and terrifying at the same time. In case you don't know anything about it, journalist Joe Nacera he investigates this decades-long story of how a New York psychiatrist deliberately and maliciously took over his clients' lives. The most notable victim in all of this is a wealthy businessman by the name of Marty Markowitz. And over the years, Joe got to know Marty pretty well and saw direct and clear evidence of how his psychiatrist, Ike Hirschkoff, was manipulating him and was systematically taking over his client's entire life. The Shrink Next Door is an incredibly jaw-dropping story about how Marty nearly lost everything he had to a man that he thought was his friend and most trusted confidant, his psychiatrist. It's, like I said, funny but totally terrifying at the same time if you put yourself into this guy's shoes. And it's definitely worth a listen, especially before it hits the TV screen. I mean, it's like reading the book as compared to the movie. The book's always better. The podcast is going to be better than the TV show, trust me. In fact, I'm about to play you just a quick preview of the Shrink Next Door podcast. And while you're listening, make sure to follow the Shrink Next Door on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or you can binge the entire series ad-free with Wondery Plus on the Wondery app. I also have placed a link in the show description to make it easy for you to find it. Here's a quick preview of The Shrink Next Door. Every neighborhood has its share of mysteries. We can live our entire lives and barely know the people just one door down. I have a summer house in Southampton, a couple of hours outside of New York. This part of the Hamptons is called the Bayside. It's quiet, peaceful, a place to escape from the city in the hot summer months. Samson and Jackie Giot have a house on the same street as me. My name is Jacqueline Giot, and we're married uh, 35 years. We're married 52 years. They've been coming here since the 80s. Most of the houses on our street are single story with wooden clappered fronts. But there's one house on the street that stands out. For starters, it's just bigger than most of the other houses. It's two stories instead of one, and it's the only one on the street with a separate guest house out back. And then there's the way it looks. The house is spectacular with windows and windows and windows. Everything about it is over the top. There's a pond with goldfish, lots of fish, and a waterfall to the pond, too. It's bigger, bolder brasher than anything else on the street. In 2010, my wife Dawn and I bought the house next door. It wasn't long before a man popped over to our house to introduce himself. He was dressed like a maintenance man, green khaki pants, a long sleeve work shirt, and a faded baseball cap. He welcomed us to the neighborhood, and then he handed us a folder of press clippings. I literally just took them and said thank you, And but he wanted us to have them. You know, he really wanted Joe to have them. There were articles that a psychiatrist, Dr. Isaac Hirschkoff, had written, and articles that had been written about him. In mid-August, an invitation arrived to a summer barbecue next door, hosted by Dr. Hirschkoff, Ike. This would be the last of three big summer parties he threw every year. It was a warm afternoon. I chatted with a few people, sipped on my glass of wine, and began to wander around. At some point, I found myself in the living room. There was a fake giraffe bust, Venetian masks, plastic parrots hanging from the ceiling. 
even a giant gong. But what struck me most were the photographs. Lots and lots of photographs. And in nearly every one of them, there was Ike Hershkoff with a different celebrity. Ike with Henry Kissinger. Ike with Ellie Wiesel. Ike with Brooke Shields. Ike with Gwyneth Paltrow. Even Ike with O.J. Simpson. It was like one of those diners where the walls are covered with pictures of celebrity patrons. At that moment, the man himself appeared. He greeted me like a long-lost friend and said that my wife and I should come over soon for a drink. And then he was gone. Sure enough, a few days after the summer party, the same maintenance man we'd met before showed up at our door again. This time, he brought an invitation for drinks. It was very formal, as if he was reading from a script. You mean like Dr. Hirschkoff would want you to come over? Right. At such and such a time, on such and such a day. It, the formality of it blew me away, and he was very, very exacting about how it had to go. So we went. One of the strangest evenings I've ever had in the Hamptons. Or anywhere else, for that matter. But definitely the Hamptons. Ike and his wife, Becky, welcomed us in and ushered us to a round kitchen table. There were snacks laid out, carrots and celery. Ike served white wine. So what I remember is him talking incessantly about being a sex therapist and a celebrity therapist. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember the details, but that, that it just really sticks in my mind that he kept going on and on about that. It was more like a monologue than a dialogue. That's what I remember. Mm -hmm. What do you remember? I just remember thinking these people are... I felt suffocated. I talked about his work. I've never seen anything like it. But I remember thinking he was very brazen about the details of his life, considering we were strangers and also considering what he does. He did talk about an NBA sports guys and yeah. somebody, a Yankees player. I, I just thought he lacked a lot of discretion, given his feel. We listened politely as he went on and on. I just remember looking towards the door. Finally, after about an hour, I said we needed to get home. And we got up to leave, and it was very clear that Ike wanted a photograph. A photograph of me? I think he came out and said, well, we'd like to get a picture of you. And it was just Joe. It wasn't <laughs> Joe and I. So I let Ike take my picture, pin it to his wall, and then we left as fast as we could. I remember getting to her home collapsing on the couch or something. Dawn told me she never wanted to go back. There was no sign of the maintenance man the night Dawn and I went over. But I knew he was still around. Sometimes we'd be on our deck and we'd see him outside working in the yard. When I returned to the Hamptons the following summer, I noticed something strange at the house next door. I would see the maintenance man out on the property doing his usual work in the backyard. But Ike Hirschkoff was gone. I would never see him or his wife Becky in the Hamptons again. There were no more summer parties. It was as if they had simply disappeared. And that's when I learned that everything I had thought I'd known about my neighbor was wrong. It's, it's a wild story. That's the maintenance man. The guy who came to our door with the press clippings. The guy we saw working around the yard. That was Marty Markowitz. The same guy who had first gone to see Dr. Isaac Hershkoff as a patient nearly 30 years earlier. It's not often that I'm able to bring you something that's both terrifying and kind of humorous at the same time, but that's exactly what The Shrink Next Door is all about. Uh, Jonah Sarah interviews the cast and creators of the TV adaptation inside the podcast as well, and he even uh, interviews Will Ferrell and Paul Rudd, who will be starring in the TV version coming soon. You can follow The Shrink Next Door in Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you're listening to me right now. And I have placed a link in the show notes to make it even easier for you to find.